Hello friends welcome to Optometry Reels Do you know what AC by ear ratio is Are you aware of its clinical use Do you know how easy and quick this test can be Stay with me till the end to learn the best and the easiest way to perform AC by ear ratio As we know accommodation and convergence are interrelated and they develop together so that we see a single image Accommodative convergence is the convergence which occurs when the eyes accommodate. Therefore, the ratio of accommodative convergence over accommodation indicates the relationship between the stimulus of convergence and the amount of accommodations which produces that convergence. And the AC by ratio is highly useful in diagnosing and managing the binocular vision anomalies. There are various ways to measure AC by ratio. but i will explain you the two easiest way to calculate it first will be gradient method and the second will be a calculated method in gradient method you just require a paint torch medox rod a trial frame and a modified thorington chart this modified thorington chart is a simple chart which indicates the various type of phorias present in the eye through gradient method we can measure phoria in normal viewing condition by stimulating the accommodation with negative lens either with minus 1 or minus 2 adapter sphere to perform this test place the medox rod on a trial frame and ask the patient to look straight at the center of the modified thorington chart which is kept at 40 cm the chart should be illuminated through the center and patient should be asked to look at the light please remember that medox rod contains a parallel plano convex lenses which is refract light rays so that a point source of light appears as a line or the streak of light and this line is seen perpendicular to the axis of the cylinder when medox rod is kept vertical it makes horizontal line and when it is kept horizontal it will make a vertical line which you can see clearly in this picture when medox rod is kept horizontally it is showing a vertical line while performing the test ask the patient to point the line seen by patient on a modified thorington chart the line seen on the chart is the phoria present in the eye here patient pointed on 6 exophoria now you need to stimulate accommodation with minus lenses either minus 1 or minus 2 diopter sphere to check the accommodative convergence here we use minus 1 diopter sphere and the stimulated phoria came out to be minus 2 exo the change in the phoria from without any lenses to minus 1 diopter sphere came out to be 4 since the minus 1 diopter was used therefore the ac by ratio was 4 is to 1 okay let's understand again with the new example what will be ac by ratio when phoria change from 6 exo to 4 iso with minus 1 diopter sphere on the modified thorington you can clearly see the change is at 10 hence ac by ratio will be 10 is to 1 again if you would have used two diopter as a stimulation it would have been 10 is to 2 or 5 is to 1 another way to find ac by ratio is calculated method this method requires some values like interpupillary distance which should be in centimeter near phoria and distance phoria and these values needs to be put in either of these given formulas In first formula AC by ratio can be obtained by adding IPD to difference of phoria from near to distant and dividing this with 2.5 Here 2.5 is the accommodative demand for 40 cm For second formula also we require IPD and this IPD should be added to the difference of phoria from near to distant multiplied by near functional distance The near functional distance should be in meter and for 40 cm of the working distance it is 0.4 meter thus the calculated method for ac by ratio can be understood in the three steps step 1 is to measure the ipd in cm now perform cover and cover test to find out the type of phoria use prisms to neutralize that phoria for iso deviation use base out prism for exo deviation use base in prism the 
third step is to measure the distance phoria again you need to check the type of phoria by performing cover and cover test and neutralize that phoria using the prism okay let's understand this with an example what will be ac by ratio if ipd is 6 cm near phoria is 5 pd iso distance phoria is 10 exophoria considering the accommodative demand for 40 cm as 2.5 if you put these values in formula 1 the ac by ratio will be 12 is to 1 again if you put this these values to the second formula by considering the near functional distance as 0.4 m again the ac by ratio will be 12 is to 1 Thank you for watching till the end. Hope this video was informative and useful. Please like, share and subscribe. See you at the next video.